You know, there's a new publication on the market. It's a book about history, but also a biography on a prolific African-American athlete, Jesse Owens. So with us this morning is Dr. Kevin Jones. He's an author and also the Dean of the School of Education at Cedarville University. Uh, doctor, thank you so much for talking to us this morning. Oh, Clyde, thank you so much for having me on. It's excited to be able to talk about this co-authored book on Jesse Owens. Well, let's do that because, uh, as yes, you said, it's a co-authored book. Uh, what inspired you, first of all, to write a book in, in the first place and then to write it about Jesse Owens in particular? Oh, great question. Great question, Mr. Clyde. So first thing is, is Dr. Eric Brooks, the co-author, who just saw me as a great co-author to write. Uh, he's been a good mentor and has inspired me to grow in scholarship. You know, second, just my time as an undergrad student at Kentucky State University, uh, studying African American history. You know, thirdly, you know, uh, thinking about Jesse's implications and him him outrunning the world on what that meant for, for image bearers and, you know, all being made in Christ's image. Uh, like, those are a few of the things that inspired me to write this book on Jesse Owens. So who would you say is the perfect reader or audience, if you will, for this book? Yeah, there, there are a couple of categories of people I have in mind for this book. One is, is any scholar that just enjoys reading. So if you, enjoy, if you enjoy reading, like, pick this up, read it, and enjoy it. A second category in my mind is any sports enthusiast. So if you're like, hey, I love sports, all types of sports, it's a great sports story. And the third category of readers in mind is any historian. If you're thinking through the implications of World War One and World War Two, like you want to pick this book up and you can see some of the connections between politics and race and things that were going on uh, between you know 1900 and then and then post the 1936 Olympics. Now, you actually did a lot of your research overseas. What was the benefit of that? What did you find out as a result of that? Well, yeah, that, yeah, it's a, a lot, uh, s sadly. So, spent some time, and, and I want to, want to thank Ohio State University and their librarians for assisting in this project, and, and uh, a couple of trips to, to Alabama, and then uh, some years ago, took a trip uh, under the March of Remembrance and Hope, in which I spent a year or so studying the Holocaust and traveling 13 European countries, looking at some of the devastation that surrounded World War II and, and was really, really intimately connected here. So I learned uh, the depravity of the human heart. I learned, I learned about despair. I learned about narcissism. And also learned about the grace and, and love of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, that can redeem people even through the type of hurt that, that, that Jews and many other ethnic people dealt with. Yeah. All right, that, uh, all great lessons to learn. So let's uh, help yes, people sir. connect with the book. If they want to pick up a copy, how do they find your book? Okay, a couple places we can go. You can go to Barnes and Noble. You can go to Amazon to pick up the book. And uh, you know, thank 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 God for my president here at Cedarville University. We're going to have reading groups around the book. So I would encourage you all to uh, to pick up a book, grab some friends, and read the book together uh, in groups and discuss it, like we'll be doing here at Cedarville University. But a lot of folks will take you up on that, Dr. Jones. Thank I you so much so. for talking to us today, Mr. Clyde. Thank you so much. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely.